Well, hello everybody, and today we've just had a little visit to the doctors because Wendy's got a bit of neck pain, and uh, the doctor's arranging for her to have an x ray because uh, she the doctor thinks that um, she might have some sort of extra bone growth or some crumbling of bones in the neck. Sounds pretty serious and it is quite painful. But um, on the way back uh, from the doctors, we stopped in um, to the co-op to see, well it's the only shop that was open on the way and uh, I'm, I was looking for some blue tack which I'm sure I've got a packet of blue tack somewhere in a cupboard somewhere but no idea but um, they didn't have any blue tack <laughs> and I'll, I'll update you later why I wanted the blue tack but um, as is always I went in and I can't come out of a supermarket without buying a bag of stuff but uh, just to update you on a couple of things that I did buy quite a good offer in the co-op is this um, nice bottle of wine it's the McGuigan um, the Borders Shiraz usually seven quid and I've seen it I've seen this sort of stuff around for seven pound fifty that sort of seven pound thirty but this on offer in the co-op for 4.99 a bottle so I bought a couple of bottles um, I'm gonna open it in a minute uh, and just let you know what it's like I'll tell you all about it but also something that I'm not known to eat is yogurt but the co-op um, do have some rather wonderful um, the collective um, yogurts is gourmet live yogurt, gourmet yogurt and this is what it looks like this is probably the best yogurt I've ever ever tasted I don't really like yogurt but I always eat it because I think it I think it's doing me some good somehow that you know it's rather it's a snack that you can have that probably not as bad for you but I think this gourmet yogurt um, I think the ingredients <laughs> aren't necessarily just yogurt it's raspberry so it has some raspberry in it but I think those gourmet yogurts are sort of half and half of, of ordinary yogurt and then um, double cream which make them all nice and creamy and thick anyway um, that, that's what we've done so far uh, this evening we're getting ready to go on to duty uh, for, we've got a day's work tomorrow so it's well I think it's Tuesday today so we're working Wednesday Thursday and Friday uh, this week so three days this week we've had um, I think five or six days off and uh, we've sort of been relaxing we haven't really been out we've just had six days of sort of milling around doing not much anyway um, that's it and there's some other stuff we've bought which I'll I'll just go and get so we've got the other stuff here and we're yes. just going to show you that now hmm. well I've, I've often seen this in in other caravans and motorhomes so I thought we're going to get some and I'll show you that's it bunting bunting <laughs> <laughs> look, it always looks so pretty and like so welcoming and it so, like, looks so cheery so I wanted to get some. We've got five metres of bunting. Metres, yeah. Isn't it lovely? Yeah. The little yeah. standard sort of bunting of different colours. Yeah. Yeah. That's look at that lovely blue one. It's like the sky on a summer's day. It's really nice. Lots and lots, lots of different yeah. shades and colours. And Get rather nice. So, and then when we thought when we was Travelling about and and then we've got the the. the well, we're thinking about Europe. The really, awning up. Now. Now, this is a very. <laughs> this is going to be lovely. I'm this very is the, pleased um, with this. <laughs> it says this is the 28 European countries' flags. So. So we've got them all there. Yeah. We don't. Know, and we'll then, have to look them up <laughs> and write down which ones they are. Oh, has it got them on the back? No. 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 Right. We know that one. We know that one. Because that's, that's where, Sweden. That's where our youngest because, son yeah, Ben <laughs> and his lives and his wife Elika and our grandson Zach and our soon to be soon to be <laughs> grandchild. Soon to be tenth grandchild. grandchild. Yes. So 
next year. So yeah. that'll be nice. Anyway, yeah. so I know that's a Swedish flag. So and that's that's about five meters as well. Yeah, that's lovely. Yeah. I'll show what else they've got. Yeah. We don't know them all. No. But well. um, we'll learn them. <laughs> I can't name many of them. No. Probably two. Yeah. <laughs> that'd be the UK and Sweden. <laughs> That's France, isn't it? That oh, that's one? France. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's Ooh, nice. Three out of twenty-eight. Mm. That's that's really bad. <laughs> but I think it's nice just to hang them, and we we, we haven't undone it yet because no. definitely, if we were had if we were stopped on a site for a little while, and I'd put it round the well, this, the drive away <laughs> awning, or our pull when we get our awning on the van, the one that we pull out, yeah. yeah, and then we it can, can go there. Them along so, the there. So that's that, what we've got. That's what we wanted the blue tack for. Yeah. That they didn't have in the co-op, which made me end up buying yeah. the wine <laughs> and the yogurt. I mm. uh, bought some bagels and some mustard as well. Mm. They all go nicer together, don't yeah. they? <laughs> We're having a yogurt and mustard bagel sandwich with a glass of wine. Very nice. Mm. Anyway, um, but let me tell you yes. more about this uh, wine. I've got my got my reading glasses on now. Mm. So this is. Um, the McGuigan, the borders, Shiraz, where the borders of the great states of New South Wales, South Australia and Victoria meet. The climate, soils, life and life-giving rivers combine to provide the perfect region for growing our fruit. So, this is, uh, it says, this delicious Shiraz is full of plum and blackcurrant flavours with a splash of Malbec, helping to give a warm, spicy finish. Best enjoyed within two years of purchase and consumed within two days of opening. Oh, there's no worry well, about that. <laughs> I don't think that's going to last two years. Or two days. And not around here. <laughs> and it's not going to last two days after opening either. Because I'm going to open this out. It feels a bit cold. Mm. So um, I will open it though. Mm. Give you a a first impression. Well, I've just started to cook um, some sweet potatoes and white potatoes because I'm making a um, shepherd's pie, but it takes quite a while because we've only got we're only using like the um, the halogen. No, what's that called? Our, our von chef. I have to do it in bits. Yeah. The induction. The induction hop. hop. Yeah. But Wendy's been saying she's been making a. Um, cottage pie all day. Oh, cottage, Which yeah. is the correct thing. <laughs> and now she just said it's a shepherd's pie. It's not. It's a cottage pie because it's beef. Yeah. It's beef mince, not lamb mince. That's the difference. Yeah. I think, no, it might be lamb mince because it looks a bit pale. Oh, um, oh. Well, well, if it's lamb mince, it's a shepherd's pie. Yeah, and if it's, if it's beef mince, mince it's, it's, it's a cottage pie. You haven't bought pork mince, have you? It's a pig pie. <laughs> It's a sty. <laughs> it's a sty pie. Sty pie. Yeah. Anyway, um, you, anyway, taste baguette. your wine. It will go nice here's, with it. Here's yeah. to the pie. Mm. Uh, yes. What do, you, what do you think of this, the aroma? It there? smells lovely. Mm. It does smell nice. Mm. Yeah, it's mm. actually quite a nice earthy smell. Mm. Mm. Oh. Definitely, definitely blackcurrant. Blackcurrant, it's almost like Ribena. That, that's how blackcurrant <laughs> it is. It, this is the Ribena wine. Oh yeah, and a really, really nice warm finish. It's very cold, physically it's cold. Um, so. In churches they used to serve, um, and they used to take the bread and wine, that was always Ribena. I don't think any churches serve real wine. Well. I think. Well, I... Here's a, here's a funny thing. Um, there's a funny thing about uh, the church and wine. Because I, I used to take Wendy's mum to church quite often. And one time I was asking why she went to a particular church. Because, you know, I was brought up a Catholic. Not that I'm that religious, but I was brought up a Catholic. And I said, well, we walk past this Catholic church. Why don't you go into a Catholic church? And she said, well, um, I don't really agree with the Holy Communion thing, because what you end up with is a lot of drunk priests. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I thought was hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> and, I mean, she was absolutely oh, serious oh, about that, oh. because what, what happened, apparently, in her experience, and I think this was a real-life experience, in her experience, what happened was there was a lot of Communion wine, real wine, mm. that was blessed, 
so they had to serve it to the people having communion and if it wasn't all taken like if they didn't have enough people doing communion that not enough wine was drunk the leftover wine <laughs> was consumed by the priest mm. and I said well why did they do, why didn't they just throw it away me I, being a, a religious heathen she was horrified mm. that I would think that a blessed wine wine that had been blessed and therefore now under under the protection of God would be tipped down the drain. She was horrified at that. <laughs> but that's why she didn't want to go to Catholic churches because she, her experience was that the priest got drunk on the communion wine, which I guess, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I, Excuse it's me quite a, minute. a thing. Oh, yeah. look, I think these potatoes have... Oh, Wendy's got well, a deal with the... Um, potatoes, yeah, on the turn the, the volume down on the... On the induction hold there because yeah. we are cooking live here <laughs> um, <laughs> we're <laughs> von sheffering um, i know sometimes we do eat a lot of ready meals but i like cooking and we don't what? have i love cooking but it just it's you've got to be organized and it's got to you like what? i cut up all the um i did all the vegetables and everything this morning and i got everything prepared yeah. so otherwise we end up eating so late at night and then we can't be bothered and then we have pot, well true. you have pot noodles yeah. and yeah. I'll have a tin well, of soup so tonight here's the thing here's the thing we will eat well tonight because yeah. that's, that's gonna be a lovely pie Wendy makes beautiful pie mm. um, Wendy's a very good cook so but um, you mentioned pot noodles yeah and I want to announce is something that we're currently in the planning stage we are do, gonna do a pot noodle blind test we're calling it the blind noodle challenge mm. and so um, we've we've got uh, some uh, a big shin cup noodle I've got I've just bought some uh, Kubota noodles which were my favorite absolutely favorite but they're quite expensive um, I've got some soba noodles on order from Morrison's um, I don't think we're not going to include a pot noodle well, we might do. Yeah, we've got to because it's a, like you're you're having them blind, aren't you? I'm, you can't see them. We're gonna we're gonna make them up, and then Wendy's gonna decant them in equal amounts into little dishes, and I'm gonna blind taste them yes, to see which one I them. prefer, yeah. mm. and then. And it so, might be the um, like it might I have be to, the pot noodle. No, and and it, well, it might be like you get three three well, the, of those noodles in for a pound Coley, from the pound shop yeah and then the Coley you go like them. noodles yeah. are three for a pound yeah. so they're like mm. 33 pence each um they are quite good they do they are quite tasty um but i think i think there are better ones i i do think there are better ones well, out there yeah but not for the price no maybe no not, not for, the, for price. the price but the other thing is you yeah you can decide which ones you like but you should look at the nutritional content because some of them could be so high in salt that it could be dangerous yeah. <laughs> so I'm anyway gonna, but we don't we're, worry about that we we're are going to do, do the blind yeah. noodle challenge mm. and let you all know <laughs> what is the best noodle out of the mm. five or six mm. pot noodles that I'm going to test well I'll, we'll film it I'll and, film you doing it oh yeah but definitely mm. no, it's not going to be like oh I've tasted all these this one best we're going to film it live mm. and you'll see my live reaction to the taste of those noodles. Yes. Anyway. That's it, because I must get on with the dinner cheers. and Steve's going to sit and enjoy the wine. Plum so. and blackcurrant, here yeah. I come. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye. Mm. <laughs> Bye. Good night. Good night. <laughs>